You're watching WGNX Channel 46 Atlanta. From Channel 46 in Atlanta. This is Georgia's News at 10. From WGNX Channel 46, this is Atlanta's News at 7.30. From WGNX Channel 46, this is Atlanta, Georgia's award-winning News at 10. We consider ourselves living outside the standards of this community. From WGNX Atlanta, this is the 11 o'clock news on 46. Residents of... Atlanta. This is WGNX News tonight. Left center for you. From CBS Atlanta, WGNX 46. This is CBS Atlanta News at 11. From CBS Atlanta, WGNX 46. This is CBS Atlanta News at 11. From WGCL TV Atlanta, this is Clear News This Morning at 5. From WGCL TV Atlanta, this is Clear News at 5. From WGCL-TV Atlanta, this is Clear News at 6. From WGCL-TV Atlanta, this is Clear News at 5. From WGCL-TV Atlanta, this is Clear News at 6. From WGCL TV, this is CBS Atlanta News this morning. This is CBS Atlanta News at 11. Atlanta's new channel. Now at 6. This is CBS 46 Atlanta's News Channel. This is CBS 46 News with Tony Harris and Stephanie Fisher, live from Atlanta's News Channel. This is CBS 46 News at 6. You're watching CBS 46 News at 11. Now, tonight's top stories and tomorrow's forecast in the first five minutes. This is CBS Atlanta News at 4.30 a.m. This is CBS Atlanta News at 5 a.m. Good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday, I'm Michelle Burdell. And I'm Jocelyn Cannell. Get Better Mornings Atlanta at 6 a.m. starts right now. This is CBS Atlanta News at 6 a.m. Good morning, everybody. I'm Michelle Burdell. And I'm Jocelyn Cannell. Get ready for record-setting temperatures. Temperatures dropped overnight. Look at that. To single digits in parts of metro Atlanta. This is CBS Atlanta News, Saturday at 8 a.m. Right now on CBS Atlanta News, Saturday morning, a winter storm pounding parts of the country, causing freezing temperatures here at home, and it's going to turn even colder, friends. Ugh, say it isn't so. So what do you do to protect your home, your car, and stay warm? We talk to experts about winterizing the most important things in your life. And, Jim, we will need it because it is freezing this morning and it's just going to get colder. Yeah, I think with today, probably a big run at the store, not for the bread and the milk, yeah. but probably for the winter gear. I was in, what, <laughs> Dick's and Academy and Target, and, I mean, the shelves are clean. But they right. need warm weather gear, and we'll need more of that by tomorrow night and Monday for that morning commute on Monday. Better Mornings Atlanta at 9 a.m. starts right now. Now, CBS Atlanta News at 4 in high definition. This is CBS 
Atlanta News at 4. This is CBS Atlanta News at 5. It's a disaster. This task force, the way it was operated, is an unmitigated disaster. A sex crimes task force is suspended and an FBI agent under investigation. This after allegations of misconduct. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Katie Bryce. And I'm Tracy Hutchins. This is CBS Atlanta News at 6. Right now. This is CBS Atlanta News at 11. Despite cooler temperatures, one Georgia county got a tornado scare tonight. Well, this is what radar is looking like right now, but earlier, people in Carroll County were on high alert. A tornado warning came out of nowhere and lasted for about an hour. We begin our team coverage tonight with meteorologist Paul Osman, who is tracking your forecast, and he explains what happened during that tornado warning. is CBS 46 News at 4.30. Good morning to you. I'm Frank Wiley. And I'm Michelle Berto. Live from Midtown Atlanta, this is CBS 46 News at 5. Good Wednesday morning, everybody. I'm Michelle Berto. And I'm Frank Wiley. Live from Midtown Atlanta. This is CBS 46 News at 6. Good morning, everybody. On this wet Wednesday, I'm Michelle Burdell. And I'm Frank Wiley. Live from Midtown Atlanta, this is Better Mornings Atlanta. Happy Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to the brand new CBS 46 studio. Live from Midtown Atlanta, this is CBS 46 News at 4. A three-year-old is found dead at his home in Forsyth County. Police right now are questioning his mother's boyfriend. Good afternoon and welcome to CBS 46 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Stephanie Fisher. And I'm Tracy Hutchins. Live from Midtown Atlanta, this is CBS 46 News at 5. The investigation continues into a three-year-old found dead at his home. The man that police are questioning is the mother's boyfriend. A battle surrounding women's reproductive rights is raging across our state. The controversial proposal that comes with restrictions. I'm losing feeling in my fingers right now. A father is able to call for life-saving help thanks to his daughter. And you know what? That little girl stepped up in a big way, saving mm -hmm. her father's life. Hello, everyone. I'm Scott Light. And I'm Stephanie Fisher. Welcome to CBS 46 News at 5 o'clock. Live from Midtown Atlanta, this is CBS 46 News at 6. And we continue following new developments out of Forsyth County, where police found a three-year-old dead inside his home. A SWAT team was called in after police say the person who had been watching the child took off. I can't understand or comprehend how that parent is feeling right now. Good evening to you. We're th we thank you for joining us. I'm Scott Light. And I'm Tracy Hutchins. Well Live from Midtown Atlanta, this is CBS 46 News at 11. An urgent plea is going out tonight from one local animal shelter. They're crowded and overcrowded more days than not, and that means more animals have to be put down. A lot of us want to look good and feel fit, but it nearly cost one man his life. We'll show you how in a CBS 46 exclusive. We are a strong community, and we want to help the family through this tough time. A uh, Forsyth County neighborhood is grieving after the death of a three-year-old boy. Sheriff's deputies say the boy's mother came home and found her son unconscious and not breathing. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Light. And I'm Stephanie Fisher. You're watching WGNX Channel 46 Atlanta.